Hi Nigel, this is Adam. Um, what I'm going to be running through on this video is how to access your control panel of your website and then adding products onto it. If you have any issues, any problems, just give me a call and I'll run through it for you um, and we can just move forward from there. But This will give you a general oversight, but if you want more information, just ask. I'm always at the end of the phone if you need us. Okay, so what you would do, you need to go through to... I use Chrome, but if you use Internet Explorer or Firefox or Safari, any of those sort of um, web browsers, they all work exactly the same. Okay, so to log into your site, you would type in your helps if you do it correctly. Capital Construction Sales .co .uk. Now that would bring, if you type that in, that will just bring straight up your website. You want to go into your admin area, WP Admin. Okay. I'll send you brand new login details and your own username so you can go in and amend whatever you want within your back area. So when you type that in, you'll see this the first time. Obviously, this is logged into how I log into it. Just click on your remember me. You'll get all this password in an email to you. Don't worry about this, this is extra protection I have on my computer. Okay, so this is your dashboard. Okay, most of it will be gobbledygook and of no relevance to you whatsoever. If you need anything added, changed, or you've seen something else you like elsewhere, drop me an email and I'll input it and show you how to use it, rather than you trying to work stuff out because it, you'll just spend hours and hours wasting your time. But basically, you've got all your controls down the side here. The ones that you are concerned about here are your posts, and then the other one is pages. Generally, you're just going to use your posts, which I've set it up on the website, so that whenever you put a post in, it'll appear on your front page, in your sidebar of every page, and in the categories, so that you only have to put something in once. You put one for sale post up, and that will propagate throughout the whole site, so it can be seen from everywhere. Okay, so to put a new one in, you would click Posts, and you'll see here, um, that's the telehandler that we put in, or I put in earlier, just as a, a demo one. Um, categories of sales items, I put that in just so I could access all the categories. But for you to put in a new one, just come up to here, Add New. Okay. And you'll get this, and it gives you exactly what you need to put in. So you have your title, your writing, your pictures, and then you've got a sidebar on the side here. Just scroll down, you have this, which is your search engine optimization section. These are all your categories that I've set up, so you can put, if you're selling a bulldozer, click on there, and it will go to certain areas. Tags, I'll tell you about them in a minute. These are other bits you can click on, do different things. Um, and uh, here you've got certain design elements. So what I'll do is I'll run through. There was another vehicle that you sent me, and I'll put that one in with the basic information that I have. I don't know anything about these um, products, really. So... Uh, um, outlet. These were the images you sent me. Uh, da, 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 da. That was what I put on earlier. I called it a telehandler because it's got the pointy things on the front, so I hope that's the right thing. Um, a yacht. I don't know if that's for sale or if that's a holiday photo. Um, here we've got this, the last one, which is an ex excavator. I assume it is anyway. I assume that's where that sticky out bit goes. So that's what we're going to sell here. JCB excavator. I don't know the make and model. Um, but you can put all that sort of information in. So that's what we're going to concentrate on selling. So, you've gone into new post at the top, put JCB Excavator. In here, <coughs> I would recommend putting the make model number, um, anything that's relevant that people will be searching for. Obviously, you've got the make there, JCB. It's an excavator. There'll be a model number, size, weight. Those sort of essential bits of information. Okay, so come down to the second bit. First thing first, put exactly the same thing again. 
JCB excavator. Okay, after that, you want your um, machinery. Oops, helps if I spell it right. Shoe spell check. Machinery specifications. List all of those. Um, <coughs> price. I'll just make up a price because I don't know what you want it listed at. Um, but I can go in and amend these for you. These are just demonstrations. And let's say we listed it for thirty thousand um, pounds. Excellent. Condition. Um, put in here. Here, a manufacturer. I don't know what it would be. Say two thousand and ten. I don't know. Um, Price, excellent condition, condition, I think. Okay, then underneath there. So you put all your, your writing in there. And then you can add a photo. You've got a couple of options. You've got here, add media. So you click on that, and this will bring up all the photographs that are loaded onto your website at the moment. But you want to upload a new file, so we'll go and find that image that we saw earlier uh, da, da, da. Where was it? Outlook one. there it is open now here where it says title and alternate text and description you want to put what your keyword is into there for us it's what your title is JCB Excavator uh, for sale capital construction sales. The reason you put this in here is one, it helps your search engine optimization and people finding you on the internet, but also I'll show you something. So, anyway, that was what you had. This is your keyword. So you'd put your information with your your business name in there. So into post, that'll appear there. The reason you put that in, as well as to help search engine optimization, if you go to Google Images, if people are looking for items, let's have a construction. Those words are what will pick up. And here, images. There you go. That's a picture I posted for you, or posted on there the other day, and that's taken four, t four days to get to number one, because I've put it under there. That's the one I put up, Apple Construction. These are old ones, but have been put up by different companies. Um, basically, when that last company built your website for you, they didn't actually optimise anything. Um, so it's all sitting on the internet, but not getting picked up by anybody. Now, if anyone types in capital construction, boom, you're top of the list. Okay. So, but that's one of the reasons why you put it in here. If we scroll down, choose your category. This is very important. So we've got excavators. Let's click into there. Tags here. You want things called keywords. So what people might be typing in. So things like JCB. Excavator. Excavator, JCB, Excavator, um, JCB, Excavator's for sale, JCB, it's giving you sort of selections there, um, machinery, um, capital, construction, Files limited. Yeah, and then just click add. And it just helps you out. You can put more in than that. Focus keyword in here. Type your title. And what this great bit of software will do is tell you what you need to do to improve your listing to make it more search engine friendly so it will help to be found. Up here, 
you've got your title this is what you see or what people will see when they click onto any of your pages that appears in this top bit of writing here this bit is what people will see when they go onto Google I'll give you a quick demonstration JCB excavator um, see what appears okay plant or auto trader is one of yours anyway but um this information here is called your metadata okay and here's so these are from old which is why they're here at the moment these are from your old website uh excavate oh there's mine so there we go we're already at number four a little bit of work i could have you top this whole page is yours okay so that's called metadata okay and that's your thing so you can see that on here so let's click one of these arrows when they appear search engine title meta description so jcb it's limited Can't remember your phone number. I know it's an View. whatever you want in there main thing is to keep your keywords that's what you're looking for down the side here hide the title for this item see it says set featured image click on that just use exactly the same image or more images if you've got them it's got the same details in set featured image now if you leave that it will appear straight away um, we'll see what happens we can always take it off or hide it um, obviously if you're putting the full specifications in you can have a lot more words you're looking for over 300 the flesh reading is just ignore that I always do um, subheading tags okay to do that at the top here click that one here gives you different choices put it in heading to that's it happy with that what we want to do then is make this all readable so we're going to change the color I'll just open up something on a sec hi or open I want the same yellow, so to choose that. Okay, oops. Here's the code for yellow here. Copy. Go back. This will just change the colour for you. Paste. Then we want to change it to font Arial because it's nice and friendly to read. Font size is 14. Title eighteen, put it in bold as well. Sale. Okay, let's have a quick check. Tags. Ideally, you want this to green. As soon as you put three hundred words in there, that'll go to green. Um, click on that, so it puts the stuff on the side. Leave breadcrumb page title you want to hide. 
Okay, we'll publish that just because we've done a bit of work on it. Now with selling items, um, ideally I would imagine that you'd prefer people to contact you first and make payments over the phone. If you go via an online payment platform, whether it's WorldPay or anyone like that, you're going to get hit with percentage charges on whatever your sales are. Um, I'll give you the option to put it here by using PayPal, but I think you'd be better off personally just leaving your phone number on there and get them to contact you, make payments over the phone um, and stuff like that. However, you could have a deposit payment over the um, over the internet if you wanted. Okay, so if you wanted someone to be able to pay you, so this one's at 30,000. Deposit. Paste. You can put a button in there. Okay, so all you need here, I've installed some software. Easy PayPal button. Click on there. It was JCP excavator. Type in your price. Oh. Alignment. Just leave it as left. Insert. You'll get a piece of code. And then here for your deposit, ten percent. So, don't worry about what they look like, they do magic when you save it. Okay, and that is it. That's all you need to post something for sale on your website. So, I'll show you what happens. Okay, you can go here to view the post, but I'll take you via the actual website so you can see it'll be live now. So, capitalconstruction.co. Okay. Don't worry, you don't get any of this stuff, that's all. So they're for sale. You've got all your different different bits and pieces on there. So you want to have a look at excavators. There's your brand new excavator. There's your description that went in there. If people want to read more, they can click on there. It's just done them a bit wonky. I'll go back in and sort them out. Um, all that would need is just a couple of drop links, and that'll sort that out. Uh, JCP, you're a man of Obviously, you'd have all your details there. There's your poster, picture of it. Here's all your links and bits and pieces. And they can comment, contact you. Now, the good thing about how I've set this up, you see on this sidebar, as soon as you post anything, your latest post will appear on every single page, letting people know what you've got set for sale. And they click that, and that will take them straight to this page where they are here. At the bottom of every page, you have the same, showing exactly what you've got for sale on each page. People can subscribe, so they can input their email address there. And then every time you post something, they will automatically be notified that you have posted something new on there. So, again, you've got here. Clicking on that takes to the main sales page. Which it cover you, or everything that you've got. Click on there. There you go. And you back into your excavator for sale. Obviously, the more items you've got, the more of these will appear. 
people can con comment on it, they can put stuff in there. That's it. Nice and simple. The more bits you get on there, the more information, the better. And that's it. Any more little amendments that you require, just give me a, sh a shout. Find out where that's gone. There's your bars missing. I'll quickly sort that out in two minutes. And that's it. Hot to trot, ready to go.